Good kitten internet. Let's go ahead and get back into my Magic 6, the Mandate of Heaven. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to be doing things a lot more differently than what my Magic 6 players might expect. Hi! Welcome to Might Magic 6, the mandate of DRAGONS! So, there's a lot of weird secrets, and I will explain this in a moment. I just need to make sure that I do things in the right order, and not die. Alright, so, allow me to explain what in the world I just did. So... In Might and Magic 6, there is a hidden teleporter inside of New Serpical that teleports you to one of the most dangerous places in the game, Dragon Sand. So I decided I'm just going to go there at the very beginning of the game. Uh, for reference, I haven't killed anything yet. Um, in my test one of these, I actually killed one of the dragons while I was out there. It's extremely difficult to do, but you can do it. It requires a fly scroll. Um, so, the Shrine of the Gods, which is where this teleports you to, is a kind of an Easter egg. The Shrine itself isn't. That's actually meant to be there. You're told about it in the game, and it gives you a bonus to all of your stats. And that's the reason why I drank from the Luckwell first, because otherwise I would never be able to drink from the Luckwell again. Uh, it gives you a bonus to all of your stats. It's plus 20. Yeah, looking at the stats, it's plus 20 to every stat. And then I walked into the Easter Egg Dungeon. This is the New World Computing Dungeon. This is actually a model mock-up of their offices. This is a nice elevator. See? Elevator. And, well... I'm not touching anything. It's bouncing. Oh, okay. That's not intentional. Anyway, you find, well, primarily peasants here, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to be looting this dungeon. This is not really meant to work this way. Oh, also. Long dagger. It's the same as a normal dagger, but longer. Really don't understand why both are in the game, but whatever. And there's no difference in reach or anything like that. But you notice I actually have positive bonuses to things now. Um, why is everything jumping? Whew, that's going to be annoying for people to look at. Oh, I should cast Wizard Eye. So I can see what in the world I'm doing. This is a cubicle farm. And you'll find people's names here. Basically, these are developers and QAers and so on of Might and Magic 6 in their little cubicle farm. And various things are inside of this dungeon. You notice that they have typos in the names and everything. But All right. there's a lot of useful things in here, too. Okay, so it's just, hey, look, I have a bunch of alchemy ingredients now, which is nice. Okay, the shaking has stopped. That's good. Right in here, just somebody's office. Hello, Tracy. Hello, Scott. I'm just checking for loot, basically. So... In my Magic 6 and 7, at least, this is the New World Computing Dungeon. Ooh, that's a very nice sword for right now. You, uh, to give you an idea of a difference on sword, plus 9 attack, 12 to 18 damage, plus 15 attack, 18 to 24 damage. I'm still planning on using axes, but I will take this as I take it, or as I get it. Becky, apparently, is the one with the Crusader sword in their office. It's a large conference room. With some leather armor of regular ordinary leather armorness. The items that are in here are generally crap, which is the reason why I came here early. 
Although that bow is actually really nice for this early in the game. Way better than the crappy crossbow. So 4d2 versus 5d2 plus 4 and a plus 4 to hit. Julia, move. I You can actually yell at people to get them out of the way, but it's never a good idea to do that if you can help it. Your reputation will suffer as a result. Anthony Rizzo. So yeah, um, you could actually go on a murderous rampage in here and kill everybody, but there's not much of a reason to. Um, actually, maybe I'll end up saving to see if I get enough XP to justify it. <laughs> yep, it's not shaking anymore. Must have just been a glitch from earlier. Steve Baca. So, desk. You can find cloaks for everybody. They are all phantom cloaks, which are kind of garbage cloaks, except nobody has a cloak on, so... Might as well. Uh, I bet that's another email. There is an enemy over here, though. Oops. Uh, oh, must be in the other room. Shelves. What book is that? Inferno? Okay. Um, I'll get Inferno this early. And cloth hats. These cloth hats are useless. So Inferno, for reference, is a much higher level spell that I just got for free. But I also don't have the MP to cast it, I think. And it clears out rooms of really weak monsters because it does 12 points of damage plus 1 per point of skill to everything that you see as long as you're indoors. Um... I do have enough spell points to cast it once. And only once. Yeah, I believe all of the shelves are linked together, so the, that's all I get for the entire dungeon, I want to say. This is the point where we have the enemy. Yep. Trip Hawkins, lead developer, or CEO of 3DO. I actually do a decent amount of damage now because of Shrine of the Gods. So, always nice. Yep, all the shelves are occupied now. I'm just opening doors in between so I know where I've been. There's one more enemy in here total. They're goblins, so it's not like they're really difficult enemies or anything. This would be a lot easier if I had hired somebody to cast Wizard Eye for me because then they'd be casting it as expert instead of beginner novice or whatever it's called so i would see the piles of loot on the ground instead i am manually doing it and good adventurers go left and this time i'm being a good adventurer so i am hello george so i am following the left wall basically armor regular crappy leather armor figures nothing in here keith Hello, Keith. Bob. What does Bob look like somebody I would go out with? It's Dave. Scott McDaniel. Anyway, these are... Ooh, axe. And money. What axe are you? Oh, you're a crappy starting axe. Damn it. Wand of Arrows is also a really crappy wand. I'm probably going to end up selling it for money. Mark, you have no loot in your office, Mark. You have a staff, though. It is a normal staff. Also, there is something wrong with your position. John, there's also something wrong with your position. Jeff, wow, there's a lot of things wrong with their positions. Andy, I think this one might be where there's an enemy. No, that's William. Brian. Paul. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. This is where there's an enemy. Yep. 
And you notice that I have the fear effect on me right now. Hence all the portraits being there and it says afraid. Fear, which has been up for zero days and zero hours. Thank you, un or named modder who actually added that in because that's really handy. Fear increases your might and decreases intellect, personality, and accuracy, and also increases speed. Which is unfortunate for them. And dead. Alright, this is actually the main reason why I will come back here later on in the game. This is Day of the Gods. You notice that my stats look like they lowered, but look at the actual numeric stats at this point. So, what Day of the Gods does is adds a bunch of points to all of your stats. As a result, all of my stats are freaking huge at this point, and the duration on this lasts for 2 days and 15 hours. So, for the next 2 days and 15 hours, also when I walk out of the room it cures the fear. Uh, for the next 2 days and 15 hours, I have all the stats in the world. Which is good. Hopefully I'm not making anybody dizzy with how fast I'm walking. This game is not meant for a mouse look, by the way. That's actually also part of the mods that I have. You have money in here. You also have a mini bar, apparently. I don't have a mini bar in my office at work. Empty office. David. Also, my wizard eye ran out again. Boy, I really could use more than an hour worth of wizard eye. Here we go. Bronze shield. Nobody here can use shields, but that's okay. This is the one where I get empty potion bottles. Yep. So I will come back here in a bit. Because I'm going to fill my inventory with empty potion bottles. Another crusader sword. Nobody else in the party can use it, so that's not so useful. Piercing dagger, though, is. So you're going to get a piercing dagger. And Awaken Scroll, that's kind of worthless. Doo, 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 doo. Like I said, I will come back for the bottles. There's a reason why I'm doing it that way. And we have Desk, where I can find clubs. Yep, just clubs. Good job, game. Nothing at that desk. Nothing there. Ken, your desk is worthless. I found chain mail. Royal chain mail. That would be really nice on the cleric when I actually, you know, have things. So you might be asking if this counts as cheating, and it kind of does. I'm basically just trying to speed up the game. Because a lot of the beginning parts are a bit boring. And I don't want to deal with the boring. Also, a free pair of shoes. You could wear shoes. Because your armor classes suck. Um, none of these things are super game-breaking. The bonus the stats kind of are, except that's totally a part of the regular game. So that's not cheating in my mind. Um, this, these are the only doors left that I have locked in. Nothing in there. Nor, yep. Trip Hawkins' office. And that is it. So let me go grab some potion bottles. All in all, I'm basically saving a small amount of money and time and getting some interesting randomized loot to start. And it's more the randomized part is the reason why I'm okay with this. So this sells potions. You, This is a vending machine, basically. And this, well, this lets you get food and poison. So free potion bottles. Let's Let me organize this really fast. Ugh. So, unfortunately, this is an old enough game that doesn't have an organized inventory button, because that would be too easy. So, I'm just needing to organize this by hand really fast. These are all 5 by one <laughs> This is 6 by one You fit it like that. Yeah, those are still the useless ones. Um, fit there, fit there. Uh, 
That'll probably do. Like that. There we go. That is perfectly cromulent now. You're going to be keeping that. That's going to be sold. That's going to be sold. Yeah, that'll work. Um, that's going to be sold. Scroll of Awakens. Oh, actually, Scroll of Awakens not that bad. And let's move all of these. Actually, let's keep them out of your inventory. And you're just going to load up on potions. See what I mean by loading up? I can fit five more potions. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Fully loaded up on potions. Then you're going to drop this at the bottom of your inventory. And then I'm going to make some of these into potions. Alright, so theoretically at this point in the game, I could actually create black potions. So there's multiple layers of potions in this game. There's simple potions, which is what I've just made. It's red, blue, and yellow potion. Yellow adds plus 10 to stats. Blue heals, uh, restores 10 SP. Red heals 10 hit points. Mind you, take a look at my hit points at this point. 10 even at this stage is not very many. So regular healing potions aren't out that great. They're okay at this point, and they don't level up or anything. Ten's the most that they go to until you get to a black potion. From there, you can mix these potions together to get different colors. Like, for instance, blue and yellow combine to green. Who would have guessed? Red and blue combine to purple, and red and yellow combine to orange. Yep, very surprising here. Um... These can actually combine again, though, and that's where you start getting into the very complicated potions that I don't feel like making at the moment, because if you make them wrong, they explode in your face and can kill you. Um, white potions are much more powerful versions of these of the green, orange, and purple potions, basically, and black potions are potions that have a strong positive benefit and a small negative benefit. For instance, the Healing Black Potion heals you 100 hit points and ages you a year. Same with the Black Spell Point Reach Store. And then there's also Black Potions that increase maximum stats. If You you can drink a maximum of one of them per character per stat, and that's about it. I am not going to do that right now. The reason being is that I don't want to sit around here forever to make them. I will probably do that off stream or off camera at some point and then show you, hey, look, these are the results that I made. And I don't have that many, um, whatchamacallits, uh, alchemy herbs at the moment, and I don't feel like getting any. Last thing I'm going to do is load up in the pantry. I'll get myself 100 food, roughly. That works. And, oh boy, I forgot that that fills up potion bottles also. Oh well. That'll work. And your poison is and poisoned and drunk. So, drunk is a status effect in this game also. Fun fact, there's nothing in the game that cures drunk. Other than divine intervention, I think. Poison, I think I can cure. You're a cure poison. Drunk. Gotta love the drunk face. Well, anyway... That's all I have for the new New World Computing Dungeon. Congratulations, we finished our first dungeon in the game. You're not supposed to get here until, like, three quarters of the way through the game. I'm kind of crazy like that. So what we're going to do now... So this is the interesting part. The What you could do is walk out this door, which will bring you right back in the middle of a crap ton of dragons, and die. Then respawn back in New Serpical with none of your money 
and all of your things broken. There's also a teleporter back that's very difficult for me to reach. In fact, I'm just going to save right now. Uh, it's very difficult to reach. Or three, you can run. And if I was smart, I would have grabbed the fly scroll ahead of time. I didn't, which means that I'm not going to be able to fly away, which is the main way I would survive running. So I... Because you can actually run to other parts of the game at this point and just carry on from there. I'm not going to do that in this case because, one, I didn't grab the fly scroll anyway. I probably should have. But more importantly, two, that kind of ruins some of the fun of the game to me. Whereas doing this is still fun. The running away from dragons requires some skill. Uh, you didn't see the dragons attack very much. In fact, I'm going to actually go do that right now so I can get a cool thumbnail. But I will come back to the save. Okay, I got my thumbnail. So what we want to do is run over this way. Well, I made it with only two people dying. That's not too bad. Death can just, you just have to go to a temple to revive. It's not that big of a deal. And the cost is based off of your level, so it doesn't cost all that much right now. Especially since they're not dead for very long. Yeah, 50 gold. It's fine. And I'm going to heal the rest of them while I'm at it. And, well... Yeah, I need to do some repairs. It's just armor. And I have leather armor. So I'm just going to swap the armor. Oops. That was not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. And at some point I will sell that. In fact, I'm going to go to the shop and sell a bunch of things right now. Uh, yeah. What time is it in game? 4.23 PM. I can wait a little bit longer and hit the night shop. That's not a bad idea. So I think then I'd be able to learn certain things. Actually, wait, I need to hit the one of the shops first, don't I? Is it all three sides Buccaneer Glare? Yeah, it is. Okay. Some shops, there's like different sides to different things. This one's just weapons. I haven't bought entry into the guilds, which I'm not going to bother buying entry into this guild. It's kind of crappy. I'll go grab the fly scroll right now, which is right here. Again, I know this game really well. Body, mind, spirit. Yeah. Which means, what are you? How are you? Earth fire air is up there that's part of the reason why um there's a fly scroll next to it is so you can get up there and water is actually across water which is not anywhere i can show you right now all right when does night fall it's close. 6 p.m in an hour plus five minutes all right so now I can pick up some much more useful skills. I'm going to be picking up Merchant on all of my characters. And so most times you just need one character with a good skill and you're perfectly fine. Merchant's one of the few exceptions. Merchant reduces the price of everything that you do. Merchant, Merchant, Merchant. I'm also going to pick up Perception. But you notice that the skill cost has already gone down. And the reason for that is that I now have Merchant. I have immediately saved 15 gold pieces, or 10% off of the cost of something, right now, with no points added in. So, that's the reason for grabbing Merchant. Uh, perception, I'm also going to grab, because that gives me a chance of dodging out of the way of some traps. Perception, 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 perception. I could pick up Disarm Trap. I won't use it, as in I won't be increasing the skill on it, but it's probably better to have somebody with it in the beginning. So I'll grab Disarm Trap on the night. And that's it. Okay. Now let's go... Well, first off, Wizard Eye. And uh, nobody needs to level up because I've gotten next to nothing in experience. Yeah, next to nothing in experience. 
You need a thousand XP to get to level two. It's weird how everybody has different XP already. Um, I can use these to get myself expert air magic pretty quick, and I'm probably going to do that, but not this moment. Right now, I've got some goblins to kill. Do, 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 do. Oh, right. I want you. Yes. <sighs> Crap arrow it is. You see how it didn't even hit? It's a pretty terrible spell. I got one. There we go. A lot easier for me to just punch things at this point. Okay. So you'll notice that to the upper right hand of the character portraits, there's a color. Uh, that color, what that does is it indicates. Oops. It indicates if there's any enemies that you detect nearby. And there aren't any at the moment. There will be soon. So you can even see it on radar. And once it's in yellow, oops, forgot that that was a trap. Um, once it's in yellow, that means the enemies have also seen you. So they're going to start moving toward you. Goblins are easy to begin with, but I currently have plus 200 all of my stats. It's going to be a cakewalk for most things. Now, these are mages. Apprentice mages are really weak, but they have a ranged attack, so I need to be a little more careful with them. My kingdom for more arrows. And by more careful, I mean reach out and touch them. Like that. Uh, yeah, I've, that's what I'd say. If it's red, that means I'm within melee range. The ranges aren't quite exact, and it's because of a bug in the way Might Magic 6 processes ranges. It depends on the clock speed of your computer. At certain speeds of your computer, you can totally be in condition green and actually be able to attack enemies. And in certain speeds of your computer, you can be in condition yellow and actually be in melee range, as you've actually seen me do a couple of times. It's not something I can rely on, but it's something to note. Anyway, you just die. There we go. Back to green. Let's loot the bodies. Nobody can level up yet. Okay. So... There's a couple of dungeons that we can go to at this point. There's actually several, but some of them are easier to get to than others. And I am going to use that fly scroll now. So this is flying. We flying. Yay, flying. Uh -huh. It's money. Explosion! It's just an Easter egg. There's nothing special about it. I'm actually going to be flying into here, though. And the reason why I want to fly into here is that there's an obelisk in here, for one. I'll explain the obelisks in a bit. And two, there are horseshoes in here. Where are the horseshoes? There's one horseshoe. There's another. Is it two or three? I think it might be two. Let's go ahead and fly out of here. I don't want to be around when the spell expires. I don't remember when the spell expires, though. Uh, four hours. Okay, I've got time. So fly is a very nice spell, but you got to watch out for the exploding fireballs that will hit you because you're flying. That is a quest for later on in the game to turn those off. Uh, but those towers are called dragon towers. They will fireball the crap out of you. So who has the horseshoes? So 
So what I'm going to do, yep, you're the right one, is use all four horseshoes to gain that much air magic. I need one more skill point to pull this off. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get it. That's very unfortunate for me. I would need to level up to get one more skill point, and I'm not about to level up. You're a jester. That's good to know. So these are fruit trees. You pick apples, and you have apples in inventory. It's a really simple concept. Do, 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 do. This is known as Goblin Watch. There's goblins here. I know, this is a huge surprise. There we go. Also, you notice I'm really fast because the goblins aren't going as fast as I am. So, Goblin King, I need to hit you first, because you can at least hit back. I said Goblin King. I'm still not used to the, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, more modern controls that this mod gave me. You're actually in melee range. I don't feel like spending all of my MP, that's why I'm doing it this way. Woohoo. I just dodged a fireball. I need to make sure I don't get clocked by that dragon tower. That might kill me right now. I am really low level. You're almost dead. Now you're dead. Okay. Yep, gotta love the wall chopping off a goblin. So, um, I've already touched on this a little bit, but I'm playing this for fun, for lack of a better way of phrasing it. So I'm not trying to do this as a challenge or anything. I don't think I, this game could be that challenging and fun for me at the same time at this point. Okay, now I'm in green. I could do challenges, and I'm perfectly capable of doing like a single character challenge or anything like that, but they're not fun. What I find fun in this game is slaughtering the pure living snot out of everything in the game. Because, well, I know it really well. Now, here is our first trap chest in the game. I'm going to save. I remember the button for quick save now. I'm going to save first. Set. Nope, that's windowed mode. F9. It's F11. Okay, anyway. I disarm the trap! Hooray! Um, it's a very easy trap to disarm, but I don't really have much in the way of disarm skill. That's why I bought it, is specifically so I don't have to deal with that. Uh -huh. It's a nice crossbow for the start of the game. Uh -huh. hmm. Mind blast roll is useless. Uh -huh. um, these can give money at least. Oh, notice how that was green highlighted? That indicates that it's unidentified. Uh -huh. It's a garbage item anyway, but just wanted to point that out. Oh, something I should notice. You notice how it says tree when I mouse over these trees? If I ever mouse over one and it's capitalized, that means it's a hidden item. They like doing that in this game. Just same with rocks and so on. Hello. Humans. You know goblin, you leave! We take castle to watch over humans. You no more kill us. In Might Magic 7, goblins are actually a playable race. Goblin monks are awesome. Along with goblin pretty much everything. Goblins are great in that game. So, um, it's getting closer to night. So, I should probably actually enter a dungeon for the first time. And I am choosing Goblin Watch. Goblin Watch is traditionally the first dungeon in the game. It's a fairly easy dungeon, sort of. 
sorry, that sounded like a cat having hairball. Um, by sort of, what I mean is that there's the dungeon is deceptively small. What I mean by that is that there's a passageway that makes the dungeon freaking huge. And that's kind of the way most dungeons in Might Magic 6 are, are huge. So, this is Goblin Watch. Okay, Wizard Eye is still up. I want to make sure Wizard Eye stays up because I'm not going to pay attention. Goblin Watch has Rouse, or Rats of Unusual Size. Rouse are easy to fight. They also drop next to nothing in loot or XP. Hey, look, there's nothing here. It's safe, right? Hi, bye. See, this is why you need wizard eye, so you can do things like that. Um, so, again, because I have the bonuses on me, things are a lot easier than they normally are. And I am doing that intentionally. I'm fine with that personally. Because I don't really want to deal with beginning game stuff. I disarmed it. Goblin Watch Code. Here's the key to open the combination door you requested. Sincerely, the Draw Cab Monks. So the Drug Cab Monks are apparently a reference to Might Magic 4 and 5, uh, World of Zine. And here's the key. You can figure it out, but it's actually fairly easy to figure out because they give you a hint. It's the Drug Cab Monks. So it's the word goblin spelled backwards. Um, get some more money. Get another bow. So I run out of inventory space already. I don't remember which ones. Okay. Pirate Cutlass. Mm. Oh, that's worth more. Money, money, money. Also, one of the things that got fixed in the patch, which I didn't even realize was broken, is that anything giving you an XP bonus was actually broken in the original Might Magic games. Nice. You can wear, or they can wear leather. They're wearing leather though, so I'm going to, ooh, it's enchanted. It gives plus four fire resistance. It's a really crappy enchantment. But enchanted weapon, uh, enchanted armor at this point of the game is better than no armor. Notice I said this point of the game because later on you can start enchanting things yourself. It's one of the reasons why water magic is so ludicrously powerful. But you can only enchant items of a certain quality or better. Hint: the stuff I'm finding right now are not the correct quality. They're garbage quality. I don't think I can open the secret door yet. No, but. You can tell from the mini-map that there's something there. All right, let's zoom in a bit. See? Doorway on the map, but I can't see through it. That's because it's a secret. Secret. Okay. Open door. So we've got suckers. Goblins. So every dungeon in the game has three monster types in it. There's always three. There's occasionally fewer than three, but there's always a maximum of three. So what that means is that if you're wandering around and you don't, you only see two, chances are that either means one, there's a good chunk of the dungeon you haven't missed, uh, you haven't seen yet, or two, there's a boss in the dungeon, and the boss is something like a dragon. That. There's a couple of rodents of unusual size over here. Nope, oh, they're goblins. The rodents of unusual size are there. Fun fact, if you can see the creature, you can attack it. So like right there, how I can see it from this angle. Oh, it's a dead rat already. Never mind. I've already killed it. Um, that means that you can kill it. Uh, there's nothing else to that. 
This totally looks like the type of room that's trapped for reference. And there would not only be a rat there for you to fight, but, well, I've already killed it. Neener, neener, neener. Alright, kill those. I disarm the trap. Starburst scroll, that's actually useful. Starburst starts up the juice, after all. Um, or more precisely, in this game, it's a very high level attack spell. Also, I have a new mace, which will go to Ed. Honestly, the staff is worthless. Go away, staff. Right? Yep. So, this does 2d4 plus 2. This does 2d4. Dink. Solidly designed to inflict the fatal injuries even through armor. Its balance is a little top-heavy, but the craftsmanship is good. Oh, it'll be nice when I can wear that royal chainmail. This is actually enchantable. It's the only item that I've found that's enchantable. I think Crusader Sword might actually be too weak for enchantment. Oh, no, you can enchant Lunar Rings. That's right. But I've got a long way to go before enchantment makes any sense for me. Hello, rats. Goodbye, rats. Okay. So... There's obviously more to this dungeon, because one, I'm still in condition yellow, and two, there's a door right here. There's a lot more to this dungeon, actually. Inferno! I felt like it. Okay. So here is where I want to go goblin. N... I L B O G B O G and go back into first person mode and we go off. Oh, you notice how wizard eye is lasting longer? That is because I actually cast it as a level 4 spell. And there's more monsters in here, of course. More rats. Rats will occasionally drop a ring. I think it's a 5% chance of dropping a ring. You're a sucker. This would have been a better spot for me to cast the Inferno spell, but I'll... I'm actually going to move back because I don't like being surrounded in this game. My speed is so terrible. Still have not picked up any rings. Uh, more suckers. I'm gonna move back. Higher level sucker in there. So, those are the typical blood suckers, but that one is a brain sucker. There's not really much of a difference between these types, by the way. Um, it's mostly just. Well, see, this is what I mean by there's a hole down here. There's a wand. If you go down that hole, you end up in a very long set of tunnels. Which you probably should actually go to. Yeah, there's actually nothing up there. Okay. Which I am planning on going down. But the fall is going to hurt me. So let's go ahead and save first. I don't have Featherfall, unfortunately. But I can hug the walls to take less damage. There we go. This is actually where I need to go for reference. Do, 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 do. Need to kill more Thems. I'm doing fine. I have somebody finally slightly injured. Let's go ahead and heal them a little bit. You'll see first aid. See how little it heals. Ooh, I actually found money on one of those. And my wizard eye ran out. That explains things. 
Okay, that's not too bad. There we go. Back in yellow. With four chests. Totally not suspicious chests whatsoever. Stream save one, please. Or two, please. Gauntlets! Everybody can wear gauntlets, even though it's steel. Everybody can wear them. Shoes, same thing. Everybody can wear shoes. Alright. Blood dagger is better than long dagger. I'm just going to toss the long dagger because it's that bad. Gauntlets, how about you wear the gauntlets and shoes? Because I just need somebody to wear them. Chest two. Money, money. Potion bottle. And what are you? Protection from fire. Got it. Lots of money. Money. Fourth bow. That's important for me to grab. Money, 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 money. Uh -huh. Scroll of slow is useless. Leather cloak I already have better, so it's cell bait. Uh -huh. Leather boots I can use. Broadsword is cell bait. Those are some nice gauntlets. Uh -huh. And that's a nice belt. Also, I received an email, apparently. Uh, that might have been from a half an hour ago. Lovely. And yeah, slow is useless. So let's go ahead and give those gauntlets to somebody who can actually use the endurance boost and speed boost. And boots go to you. Also, surprise enemies! The game likes throwing in spawns of enemies right behind you while you do things. What's actually did was it opened the door the moment I um, hit the last chest. Anyway, running, 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 running. Just think, this is at normal speed. There's actually a double speed option as well that the modders added. So, at this point, I can go into those tunnels. Or this way just loops me back to the entrance. I'm just opening this up so I have, hey look, I've actually entered. So, let's just finish up the dungeon. Uh, there's a large chunk of the dungeon that we haven't done yet. Peekaboo. I don't intend to do it, to be honest. I may end up doing it anyway. I want at least one more of them to walk over. There. Now I can just deal with one side at a time. That makes things easier. So, there's plate mail there, which... This is the lowest level of plate mail. Notice it's worth a thousand gold pieces on its own. Plate's pretty awesome, because, I mean, lowest leather armor is four armor. Lowest plate mail is 20. So, yeah, plate mail's awesome. Nothing on that table. I'll hide out behind here. Hey, look, it's more rats. Who would have guessed? And brain suckers, goblins, and rats. Again, every dungeon will have three types of enemies in them. I'm actually taking a decent amount of damage now. They're not dead yet. Now, you, now they are. Um, yeah, I could definitely level up at this point. I could probably level up twice, but uh, does it tell you? Yep, I can almost level up twice. You are a regular hand axe. Pick it up anyway, because I can probably use the money. This is the point where I go, yeah, this dungeon's a lot larger than it appears. Because look at the size of these tunnels. Just look at them. It's ridiculous. Nope, I am not going to get surrounded. Got that one. So if you had entered the wrong combination in, or you went for it before you had a combination, you could actually end up warped in the middle of all of this. Which would be... Difficult for most groups. Mine would actually be fine, I think. Also. First aid. Yes. One, four. I'm just going to heal up a little bit. Because I don't want to rest. 
When you go to sleep, all of your spells get dispelled, so I don't want to rest. And back in green is fine. <laughs> so I'll be clearing out the first dungeon of the game along with my clear out of like one of the last dungeons of the game. Also, that's a lot of suckers. I'm a little concerned about the red one. I don't remember how powerful that, never mind. Soul suckers, I want to say, had some type of status effect on them that were nasty. Blood suckers are barely even hit me. And that's normal regardless of your party. They just have a really crappy chance of hitting. I think you would have actually teleported in the middle of that. But there's loot here, and I want loot. So the reason why I'm going after the shamans and kings first is because they have a ranged attack. They're significantly more annoying. All right, you are rats. This is fine. I really need bows and other characters, but I have to go someplace else first. That was another reason why it would probably have been a good idea for me to have fly while I was in Dragon Sand. So then I could fly over to a place that I could just buy bows. But eh. I can just walk to a place with bows if I really want to. I'm actually surprised I haven't gotten diseased or poisoned yet. Pleasantly surprised, mind you, but surprised. You're stuck, aren't you? That one's running away. Little tiny passage to go up to rats! Oh no, there are more rats! I actually found a ring. Notice that it's green now. What that means is that I could actually rest here without any issues. That's a fairly high level dagger for this early in the game. And also a halberd. Halberds count as spears. So I don't have anybody that uses spears. Also, I can't carry this at this point. Ah, uh, you have that club. So, fun thing with clubs. Um, they're in each of the Might and Magics, but they didn't intend to put them in each of the Might and Magics. So, I'm um, stuck in ground again. There we go. Uh, so, as a result, in Might and Magic 7 and 8, they forgot to put stats in on the club. They had, like, the basic hit stats. I mean, like, how fast does it attack and so on as a result their speed is zero or the way i should phrase it is their delay is zero so you can just constantly swing with clubs all day and it would still be your turn good job developers my magic eight was very heavily rushed seven was rushed for that matter six was not rushed six actually was heavily delayed i don't have wizard eye up I don't like getting ambushed like that. Okay. Um, let's see, I was going to save the tale for how I got introduced to Might Magic for the next episode. Because I wanted to go silly this episode and just jump all the way to Dragon Sand. Um, I'm going to be ending it after Goblin Watch because we're pretty much out of time. Also, I'm back in condition green. That's probably mean. Oh, nope, there's still stuff here. It's like it probably means I might be done with the dungeon just about. Being able to see my opponents. Do, 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 do. Told you, this dungeon's huge. Definitely should have saved the Inferno. Yeah, this number of enemies is actually slightly concerning. Yep. Um, taking more damage than I would like. Okay, you're going to start healing.
Oh, everybody's tired because I've been sleeping for too long. Or awake for too long. Curing weakness. Cure weakness. Oh. Because my skill in body magic is so crappy, I only was able to cure one of them. And to be fair, I cured the right one. And I think this is another chest. Yep. And I am done with the dungeon at this point. Ooh, it's a nice cloak. Ah. Doomsday cloak. If I remember it, that's the earliest enchantable cloak in the game. It also takes up an unusual inventory right. situation. And another set of enchanted gauntlets. You get those. I want the cloak. Where did I put the cloak? There's a cloak. Really oh, your I phantom thought. cloak's broken. Here, have a cool looking cloak instead. Yeah. I think Doomsday is the first enchantable. It might have been the one up from it. Anyway, that was Goblin Watch. So how large was this dungeon? This large. This part of the dungeon is all you really need to go to. This is the entire dungeon. Yeah. This is an average-sized dungeon, I would say. There are some dungeons in the game that... When I go to record Varn, for an example, we will be in Varn multiple adventures, easily. Uh, multiple recordings. It will take me multiple hours to go through the entire thing. Especially while I'm talking. Because, well, I'm a little distracted while I talk. It's part of the reason why I'm not too concerned about quote-unquote cheating. Also that face. Uh, and, like I said, part of the reason why I'm not too concerned about quote-unquote cheating is because, well... I'm talking at the same time. Things are a little more difficult anyway. What time is it in the day? It is 3.30 in the morning. That's fine. Also, I have had two days of my awesome spells, so they're not going to sleep for another two days. I'm just going to the temple and healing. Oh, right. I need to wait until 5 in the morning. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. Forgot. All right. And this is where I'm going to end it. I uh, hope you're enjoying this. I'm enjoying it. It's a lot less stressful for me to play than the Nuzlocke because I don't need to worry too much. If I die, I just reload. I'm not doing this as a challenge or anything. The only downside is that, oh boy, does my throat hurt from talking for an hour straight, basically. Um, I hope the reduced frame rate doesn't bother anybody. I could record this at 60 FPS, but the game itself only runs at 30. So not much of a reason to in my mind. Or I should say the animations only run at 30. So, eh. Also, my reputation is now average. Oh, speaking of... I should actually go complete the quest. I think you open at 9 or 10, though. Close. 10. I'll wait five hours. I need your help. Now, you want to talk about Sherry. You want to talk about Goblet Watch. Ah, thank you for taking care of that little detail for us. Here's your gold. Feel free to return to Goblin Watch anytime to finish clearing out the rest of the monsters. We can't pay you, but you can have anything else you find there. Basically, all you had to do was clean out that small intro section, and that was it. You just needed the code. You didn't need to actually continue. I wanted to clear everything out, because that's the way I roll, is that I just clear things out. Also, we have a new quest for the cults that move into an old abandoned temple a few days' journey west of here. So they want the Chime of Harmony and were willing to pay me 5,000 gold pieces to do so. Which is nice. Mostly, I want the reputation increase. Notice that I'm now up at respectable. And I also wanted the experience. Because I think I can level more than once now. Yep, I can level twice. And I'm almost there to level three times. But leveling won't happen yet. And the reason is that leveling will take one week of game time. So I want to make sure I do as much as I can while I still have those awesome boost spells on me. And then I will go level. Because, to be honest, I don't really need to level that bad. Uh, I mean, air magic is the only thing I can really do here. So, that is all for now. Hope you've enjoyed it, and I will talk to you some other time.
rest of all internet